What's going on, my illustrious friends? In this episode, we take a look at fashion and butterflies. Fly fashion and butterflies. Butterflies and fly fashion. I reminisce and I reflect. I remember and I ponder that this nature walk begins at the airport of all places, Chang Airport in Singapore, right there where there is a beautiful blend of nature and architecture. We take our virtual nature walk. They mean what they say when they say, let your senses take flight. We were greeted by flowers. We were welcomed by orchids. And we have already seen how flora affects fashion, how it brings out creativity from us. And now the butterflies, the butterflies, flitter, flutter, butterfly. Can I catch you? If I try, oh, I remember, I remember poetry when I was a child. Flutter high above my head, flutter on my flower bed. Bye-bye, butterfly. They have a beautiful butterfly garden right there at Chang Airport in Singapore. There were many lessons that we learned just by watching the butterflies. And in this episode, we are going to talk about the whole life cycle. From the moment we hatch, to the moment we match, and perhaps to the moment we are dispatched. <laughs> but look, we can learn from the courtship, the mating, and the raising of our children. Without complexifying this video, this beautiful butterfly inspires our swagger. Before it flies off, it lays some eggs. Those eggs hatch and they become this particular caterpillar. These are the caterpillars known as silkworms. They produce, you guessed it, silk. And this is the traditional way of making silk and so from this silk comes your blouse your shirt that lovely dress that tie that bow tie that scarf you got your kaduchi you got your gucci you got your dolce and gabbana your valentino your louis vuitton you got your prada you got all of your swagger from this moth right here hey hey wait wait up wait up this is the same moth that ate your gucci it's the same moth that ate your dolce gabbana your Giorgio amani the same moth it came from the moth and it ends with the moth the moth ate your emenegildo zenia sweater and it drilled a hole in your St. John's neat outfit? Jokes aside, this brown butterfly does inspire earth tones in swagger. Butterflies make us believe we can fly or we can look fly.
Isn't it ironic that fly bow ties look just like butterflies? gave us these fluttering butterflies to inspire us while we are in this fleeting life. Though seen but just for a moment, the butterfly brings beauty. I mean, take a moment and enjoy the butterfly. It's a beautiful creature. God is the author of all things beautiful. God knows how to put his colors together. If you didn't know how to put your own colors together, watch the butterfly. Fleeter, flutter, butterfly, can I catch you if I try? Flutter high above my head, flutter on my flower bed. Bye bye, butterfly. Without ever seeing a butterfly, we would never know how to put together a scarf with these types of colors. You don't need to be a genius to see that even these shoes are inspired by butterflies. Have you taken time to take a look at a moth? I mean a real good look. You will never despise a moth again. If you could see how God took his time in putting together this creature. Look at the color scheme. Look at how everything blends together. A moth is amazingly beautiful. I have never seen a trench coat as beautiful as a moth. I have never seen a beret as beautiful as a moth. Even a moth can inspire our swagger. We need to thank God for butterflies. Our swagger is inspired by butterflies. Our color schemes are inspired by butterflies. The patterns that we enjoy are inspired by butterflies. Check out these white and black butterflies, how they inspire our white and black swagger.
God invented stripes, God also invented polka dots. When we take a look into the book of nature, we find that human life also begins just like a chrysalis, just like a nymph, just like this cocoon right here. Human life also bursts out of the cocoon. Our kids are just like little nymphs. They're like little butterflies. Kids need to be allowed to flex their muscles. They don't need any help to break out of the cocoon. They need to learn to stretch their muscles, to break out, to exercise, use the muscles that they have so that they can discover who they really are, who God created them to be. So we are just like these butterflies. We can stretch our muscles. We can stretch ourselves and, and find out that we can emerge into the world and spread our wings and fly in our individuality and originality and peculiarity. Children can take off to heights unknown to see horizons heretofore never been experienced because every child is unique and special. Every child must make that leap of faith. Every child of God must make a faith venture, a faith undertaking, leap into the unknown and see new heights. Spread those wings. Take that leap of faith. Dive into the unknown. Go by faith. Believe that you can fly. Believe also that you are fly. As quickly as butterflies appear, that's how quickly they disappear. I was talking to a young couple recently, and I was saying our kids are the same way. Before you know it, they are no longer kids. As quickly as they were kids, they move into adulthood. I look back to the times I used to enjoy with my daughters when they were little, and let me tell you, these angels without wings, as quickly as they appear, that's how quickly they move into adulthood. Like butterflies, time is quickly fleeting. Have fun in each moment that God has lavished upon us. Have fun with them while you can. Make memories with each moment. That's the fabric by which life is made. We were at a mutual event, and I met this wonderful brother and his son. In fact, his son and my son were playing together. The wonderful thing that we had in common was the fact that we love to dress our boys. And they were dressed pretty much the same way that we ourselves were dressed. 
I said, I dig your swagger, bro. And he said, I dig yours as well. And let me tell you, it's a wonderful thing when they are like-minded people. I've always loved to dress my son the same type of swagger that I dress in. My dad used to dress me well, but I want to dress my son even better than how I used to get dressed when I was a kid. Remember, you won't put him on your shoulders forever. You might as well pick him up one last time for all time's sake. Teach them what they don't know and learn from them what you don't know. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Today, as your father and as your pastor, it is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The life cycle of a butterfly is more or less a fast-forward version of our life cycle together with our children. Fashionistas always take a page out of the book of nature where God has given us a plethora of options, not just white and black, but then he also shows us black and white.
that's pizzazz or glamorous. Someone might say, well, take inventory of your life. Ask yourself, audit your life. Take account of the reason why there is no glamour, why there is no pizzazz in your life. There's a time for everything. A little pizzazz ain't never hurt nobody. Don't just live your life in black and white. Try to live your life in technicolor. Try to enjoy the colorful world of butterflies. Try to enjoy how much God has sprinkled so many brilliant colors all over this world. Take a moment. Enjoy the butterflies. Enjoy the flowers. Smell the roses, as they say, while you can. Flitter, flutter, butterfly, can I catch you if I try? Flutter high above my head, flutter on my flower bed. Before you say bye-bye, butterfly, the butterfly is one of the reasons why interiors of coats, interiors of jackets, linings of jackets have become so colorful. But you know what? They have not just stuck to the interior. All those bright and brilliant colors have also been taken on the external of man's outfits. Who would have thought that we would live in the day when a man would walk on center stage wearing an entire suit made out of sequence fabric? Sequence fabrics with a plethora of flowers. We're living in those days. From my 20s, I've always done my tie a different way. Not the way everybody does their ties. I always like for my tie to have a dimple in it, like a teardrop in it. I always love for my tie to be a little bit long, a little bit long knotted, not brief and short like everybody else. Apparently, when I've done my tie, what people think is the wrong way, a couple of people have liked my wrong way of doing ties and they started doing the same thing. I think I've never taught anybody how to do it. If I have to teach you, then I have to kill you. Precious butterflies challenge our own romance. When was the last time that we had that high mountain top experience, that feeling of being on top of the world? Butterflies challenge our relationships. Flutter, butterfly, can I catch you if I try? Flutter high above my head, flutter on my flower bed. Before I say bye-bye, butterfly, before I say 
Adios, butterfly. Let me take another look into the book of nature. Before Fendi liked yellow, this butterfly was already yellow. Every butterfly is unique. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Be yourself. The last time I checked, everybody else is taken. So be yourself. Be comfortable to be who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. Be who you are, who God created you to be, and be glad to be the real you. What beauty, what lessons, what inspiration, what motivation from these little critters, these little bugs, these colorful yet beautiful, amazing insects that God gave us. We get so much from butterflies. Cross-pollination happens as they hop from flower to flower. We ourselves are inspired by butterflies. Flitter, flutter, butterfly, can I catch you if I try? Flutter high above my head, flutter on my flower bed. Before you say adios, butterfly, there's so much that not just ourselves, but ensuing generations will learn for years to come from these beautiful butterflies. In that butterfly garden in Singapore, we saw these two beautiful butterflies flirting. They say variety is the spice of life, and these many varieties of butterflies do spice up our lives. They inspire us, and from their flirting, we learn to flirt as well and enjoy a technicolor life just like the flittering, fluttering butterflies. So long, butterfly. Catch you later. Adios, amigo. Bye for now.